The basic operation of the LED3 and LED9 are the same. To power the unit on or off, use the trigger on your handheld unit or use the power switch on your fixed mount unit. Once the unit is on, the digital display will show the current flash rate in flashes per minute. Adjust the flash rate until the object of interest appears to be frozen or locked in place. To increase the flash rate, turn the multifunction control knob clockwise. To decrease the rate, turn the knob counterclockwise. To increase or decrease the flash rate by harmonic intervals of the current flash rate, simultaneously press and turn the multifunction control knob. Press and turn clockwise for harmonic intervals indicated by a solid pixel on the lower right of the display or counterclockwise for subharmonic intervals indicated by a blinking pixel on the lower right of the display. To adjust the flash duration, press and release the multifunction control knob so that the duration status indicator is illuminated. In order to increase or decrease the flash duration, turn the multifunction control knob clockwise or counterclockwise. The minimum duration is 2 microseconds. The maximum duration depends on the current flash frequency, limited to 100 microseconds. As you increase the flash rate past the maximum flash duration, the unit will automatically reduce the duration to limit the output to the maximum power level of the unit. As you decrease flash duration, you gain clarity and definition of the inspected target. As you increase flash duration, you gain brightness. When you are using your LED3 or LED9 to align print patterns, or as a tachometer to check motors and other machinery, you have phase or flash delay available. Phase or flash delay is used to change the field of view as seen by an observer. To adjust the phase delay, press and release the multifunction control knob until the delay status indicator is illuminated. Advance or delay the flash by turning the multifunction control knob clockwise or counterclockwise. The range of delay can be set anywhere between 0 and 359 degrees. To access constant on, press the mode key once and five dashes will be shown on the digital display. If your unit does not have a mode key, press and hold the control knob for five seconds and five dots will appear on the display. This mode can be used to quickly simulate continuous lighting. While in constant on mode, you can adjust the flash duration by turning the multifunction control knob. You can also synchronize the strobe's flash rate to a variable line speed rotary encoder, an analog line speed device, or an external trigger signal. Once the synchronization source is connected, the strobe will automatically enter external trigger mode. To deactivate or reactivate external trigger mode, press the mode key. The fixed mount models allow you to interconnect multiple units in a single stream network to get wider coverage or to synchronize the lights at multiple locations along the machinery. Using the optional interconnect cables, the first strobe on the chain will automatically configure the remaining secondary strobes downstream in the network. You'll find the LED3 and LED9 to be compact, lightweight, powerful, and extremely versatile inspection strobe light systems that are easy to adjust to your specific line speed for on-the-spot inspection. If you have any questions or for more information, contact the Unilux representative or service center nearest to you.